Hey guys, I want to talk to you a little bit today about the cold truth about cold approach. There's a few things that I wanted to talk about here because I, I know that a lot of folks out there that, that dabble in this stuff and try it, they get really discouraged really early on and they, they think thoughts to themselves, well, this stuff doesn't work. This is never going to work for me. This is a lost cause. I'm just going to give up. And yeah, like you're going to have those moments and those days and those thoughts that go through your head. And, and that's just why I want to talk about what, what I perceive to be the cold truth about cold approach. And that's, that's a few things here that I want to lay out. Number one, make no mistake about it, guys. This stuff is not easy. This is difficult. This is, this is something that most men in the course of their lives will never master, will never wrap their minds around, will never get good at, let's say, because a lot of them don't need to. You know, maybe, you know, people find find people in whatever way they do and a lot of times it works out and that's great but they they will have never have had to walk this track that, that you might be trying to walk right now and learn how to do this cold approach stuff learn how to get better at it so it's not easy it's not for everybody and i want you to think about that guys too if it were easy everybody would be doing it first of all right so that's that's the first and foremost one the, the second one that i want to tell you guys is like Statistically speaking, even somebody who's quote unquote good at cold approach, the statistics are still not great. It's still like a 50-50 thing. And it, it takes a tremendously strong person to be able to play any game in life and only win quote unquote half the time when you have a 50% success rate, right? That, that neither affirms or denies that what you're doing is right, okay? If you had a 90% success rate, you'd be ultra com confident and, and all this kind of stuff. If you had a 10% success rate, yeah, you might give up. You might be of that mindset. You might you know, be on that end of the thought track. But even at 50%, guys, and that is the reality, I've been doing this for a long time, let's say, probably like at least... I don't know, let's say 15 years, I, I've really tried to be like working on this stuff and, and continue to get better at it year after year during those phases when I was single. Even still to this day, I feel like I, I have a ability to walk up, make an approach and, and see how things go and do the stuff that I'm always telling you guys to do. But even for somebody like me, like that's been doing it a long time and like has, I, I'm confident that I can read people and do all that kind of stuff. Like it doesn't work out all the time and even, those 50% of the times where you might get a number and you might um, get another date or you might never see the person again or you might you know, go out a few times and nothing works out, like the success rate even down from there is even lower, right? And this is just normal, natural human dynamics. I mean, the, the fact that it is a cold approach, right, guys? You're starting from absolutely nothing. You know nothing about this person other than the way they look and the, the small things you might learn about them and that, that first initial five minute conversations you have when you're doing, or, or when you're doing this stuff, you're getting to talk to them. I mean, just think about that from the high level standpoint. I mean, all of those things coupled together should affirm in your minds of what I'm telling you here is the cold truth about it is that most of the time it's not going to work out. It's not going to turn into a relationship. It's not gonna materialize into anything completely substantial for you. And you have to be okay with that, guys. If you're gonna do this stuff, like you can't just try it a couple times and expect greatness and expect success. Like this is something that's gonna take a long time to develop and it's gonna take screwing it up and it's gonna take some successes and it's gonna take a lot of losses. And it's just, that's all part of the process here. And this is not, you know, getting good, quote unquote, at cold approach is no magic pill, okay? It's not for the faint of heart. It's not, it's not going to be like this, like, just magic door that opens to you. It's an avenue, it's a way. It's a cool thing you can do. I think it's an important thing that you should do. I think it's something that sets you apart from other men in this world, but you guys have to understand that. You have to realize that if you're gonna do this stuff, it's important to think on those terms, it's important to know that stuff because you can't beat yourself up when you get these losses on the front end and on, in the early stages of when you're trying to learn this stuff and get good at it, okay? That's the cold truth, guys. The, the cold reality behind cold approach is just that. If you're okay with all that, then keep at it. Keep doing it. You're gonna get better at it. You're gonna find success. You're gonna connect with amazing people. You're gonna have amazing experiences. You're gonna do all this stuff, guys. But you just have to go into this quote unquote game knowing that those are the statistics. That's the reality. And hopefully knowing that, you can proceed in confidence in those those initial crappy situations where it doesn't go your way or you don't get what you want out of it, like you'll learn to look past those. You'll learn to override those thoughts and emotions and you'll learn to keep pushing.
towards what you're after, okay? All right, guys. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Talk to you real soon.